The military has started reissuing gas masks to U.S. troops. We need to talk about this, friends. And we have panic at the Manchester airport as terminals lose power for the whole day. Big stuff happening over in the U.K. And the unsupervised Houthis in Yemen, as predicted, have sunk another cargo ship. And they missiled another ship. We need to talk about that as well. And we have trouble at Joanne Fabrics. That and more on today's Poplar Report. Welcome to the Poplar Report. I'm Steve Poplar. I'm an accountant by trade. And these are your updates that you guys are sending in from all over the world, letting us know and keep on top of what's going on out there. The mainstream media won't do this, but we will together. And uh, before we dive in, we want to thank our sponsor, Genesis Gold Group. They help people who have retirement accounts get out of stocks and bonds. It might be a good idea right now and get over into silver, physical metal uh, that will be yours in your retirement account and it will preserve your wealth through even a catastrophic crash. This is not financial advice, but it is my personal opinions on those matters. Um, all right, there'll be a link at the end of the video. Okay, so what's happening over in the UK? If you've ever tried to travel, this kind of hits you right close to home. The UK's third largest airport, Manchester, uh, lost power Sunday afternoon. Passengers were contacted that hadn't gotten to the airport yet and told not to come to the airport. Now, Sunday morning, right? As of midnight, the airport was now in the process of resuming operations. The airport managing director said it was a uh, fault with a cable uh, that had caused the power uh, a power surge that took down the security systems and baggage screening. So they had power loss and then they had their security screenings come down so that they, uh, that, that put them even further behind the eight ball. So major news out there. Uh, since I just mentioned the airport managing director who commented on these things, we know how untrustworthy they are because um, it seems like an appropriate time to remind you of the airport managing director in the United States that the ATF raided his home um, in the middle of the night and shot because he was uh, suspected of paperwork errors. His name was Brian Malinowski, and we won't forget him because another tragedy at the hands of ATF, right? Um, there's always time to bring up the atrocities by our U.S. government against us, isn't it? Two more ships were struck by Houthi attacks. One was abandoned after the crew um, uh, because the uh, ship was taking on water, they weren't able to patch it up, they weren't able to control it, and so they abandoned ship, and it is now presumed sunk. The other ship uh, was hit by a um, flying drone, uh, no one was injured, and they were able to continue on to the next port of call, uh, but the Houthis shooting at anything that moves is probably a bad thing. Now, we mentioned that just yesterday. I was telling you about how the Enterprise, I'm sorry, not the Enterprise, <laughs> the Eisenhower aircraft carrier just transited the Suez Canal, and the very next day, the Houthis start shooting like crazy at anything that moves. Uh, we may expect to see an increase in the operational uh, tempo of the Houthis over the next week or so. All right, uh, MT says, I work on a military base, and about a year ago, they had us turn in our gas masks because we did not need them. Out of nowhere, last month, they quickly reissued them. No reason given. These are just yours. Just, just hold on to these just in case. You know, don't be afraid. Don't worry about anything. Uh, a bunch of you guys continue to send in reports of ex uh, exploding egg prices across the United States. Barbara in Wyoming says, update our Walmart eggs 60 count went from $7.49, spiked to $14.89 the next visit. Doubling in price. That is crazy. Uh, hopefully you guys listened to the, the updates earlier this month when I said, hey, the eggs are going to go up in price. If you had listened you would have saved, right? Um, Red Dog, I ordered nine items from my local Walmart in Rhode Island for delivery this morning. Nine items. I only got one item and it was a substitution. 
Only English muffins arrived, and they were a substitute for what I ordered. No jumbo eggs, no Sosa water, no bakery um, donuts. Gemma says, Amazon is now upping the cost of free delivery in the UK. It used to be a $25 limit uh, for free delivery. Now it's $35, uh, 35 pounds, sorry, 25 pounds and 35 pounds. In completely unrelated news, the UK is, uh, has increased the minimum wage there by one pound on April 1st, about a 10% increase. Completely unrelated, right? Just like California, completely unrelated, all the people getting laid off from work and the increase in the minimum wage. Yep, completely unrelated. All right, if you believe that, friends, if you believe that, right? Baba LU, uh, Baba Lou, sorry, uh, says, I uh, just wanted to include an update concerning evaporated milk. And this is a good tip out there. Um, I actually personally kind of do this too. So powdered milk is too expensive for me to buy. However, I'm able to buy evaporated milk tariff free where I live. So I stocked up on evaporated milk despite multiple reports from people on the internet uh, that it would go bad. But evaporated milk in a can doesn't go bad. So don't listen to those crazy people. Uh, because I was buying fresh milk, I lost about six cans, uh, uh, lost about six cans of evaporated milk, but suddenly the fresh milk started souring really early. So now I'm using evaporated milk almost exclusively, and uh, now I am able to rotate, and that has stopped the losses. Um, so th they do rust out eventually. I used evaporated milk as, uh, I use evaporated milk as creamer for coffee. If you chill it, you can whip it and use it in place of sour cream. This makes it extremely cost effective. Uh, so I now keep replacing what I use. I no longer buy uh, fresh milk, uh, whipping cream, sour cream, or even buttermilk. I grieve the lack of buttermilk, uh, but that cannot, uh, cannot find, for, I cannot find for a long time. I'm outside the US and can get tariff-free evaporated milk from Peru, Germany, and Chile. Now, just here's a tip from me. Uh, you can make a buttermilk substitute by just mixing uh, evaporated milk with vinegar and lemon juice. Uh, here's, the, uh, here's the formula. Uh, 370 milliliters of evaporated milk, uh, one fourth cup vinegar, one fourth cup lemon, and two cups water because you need to reconstitute the, uh, the, butter, uh, the, the milk, right? You can Google that and you will find recipes for basically turning evaporated milk into buttermilk. And uh, there are options out there. Just want to give it that tang. So vinegar and uh, lemon juice will do that. Uh, Tanya uh, says, was at a ladies luncheon yesterday. And during the conversation we discovered uh, we're all having random power outages. Now this is in Tennessee. We don't all live in the same town and we aren't all on the same grid or even the same company. We each thought we were the only ones. Seems the blackouts are well underway here in East Tennessee. Now I was looking and I could not confirm uh, power outages in Tennessee. So take that with a grain of salt, if you will. Um, but uh, there are reports from our folks on the ground there saying that there are blackouts in a, in a, in a wide swath of an area. Uh, last, the last pirate says, uh, the place I work is next to an auto dealership. Talking about the CDK hack. Um, I spoke with a mechanic yesterday afternoon and he told me that parts were hard to get before the CDK hack. He also told me that some customer vehicles have been waiting three weeks, uh, for usually in stock parts. So, I mean, we knew that there are part shortages out there. We kind of covered that, uh, here and there, but it just haven't gotten better. Right. And, uh, then we have the CDK hack on top of all that, and it's just causing even more nightmares out there. If you guys have updates that you'd like to send in or information that you need to share with us, particularly from work, or if you have insider information going on out there, uh, those are that's what you guys like to hear the most uh, is what's going on uh, from talking to managers, talking to uh, supply chain people, truck drivers, uh, hearing what's going on out there. Uh, let us know if you're if you're hearing or seeing stuff at your workplaces, particularly, and on store shelf uh, reports as well. Just make sure you use the word update on a comment on this video or any video on this channel, and that gets it to the right place. New says, uh, Edgewood, New Mexico. 
meat section at Walmart has big holes, beef is low, pork is low, and chicken is low. It has been this way now for the last two weeks. Flour and sugar have big holes on the shelves as well. Um, especially down in New Mexico and some of those areas closer to the uh, southern border, uh, we are hearing a lot of issues with um, Walmarts and such. And that probably has to do with the fact that those Walmarts are servicing a lot more people these days because a whole bunch of people are getting cards that they can go rack up stuff, even though uh, this is their first time in the country, if you know what I mean. All them others. J.I. says, uh, Steve, I have a United Healthcare Medicare Advantage plan and just received a notice and bill that the cost per year has increased by $600 a year. That's how they get back all the money that they lost. Now, Change Healthcare is the one that got hacked, right? So they were extremely incompetent and managed to get hacked and compromise all the customer data. So naturally what they're going to do is increase prices on their customers, $600 a year. That's how they can get back all the money they lost and make sure their Wall Street investors get their dividends. Hey, doesn't matter if you make a crap product as long as you're subsidized by a government mon um, run monopoly, right? And that's what we have, a government-run monopoly. These guys are insiders. They play inside. Uh, they, they make sure that no one else can play on their field. Only the big dogs can play in the medical insurance business. And uh, any upstarts get crushed. And they can then raise rates to whatever they want to. And they can play all the nasty games that they want to because they know there isn't any legitimate actual competition which is a reason why I, I just, I don't do insurance. I don't do medical insurance, period. Um, I, I'm part of a uh, organization called uh, Christian Health Sharing Ministry. And uh, it's, it's a little quirky, but uh, let's just say this way, any opportunity I get to stick it in the eye of the insurance companies, I'm going to take. So even though I might be able to write off more stuff on you know expenses or whatever, uh, I, I don't want insurance. I don't want to deal with these companies. Uh, I prefer to deal with a health sharing ministry like a Christian health sharing ministry. If you want to learn more about that, I'll, I'll pin that down in the comment down below. It might be right for you. It might not be. Make sure you understand how it works. It doesn't work per year. It works per incident. And uh, it's, it's, like I said, a little quirky, but it works. And it has been in business for like 20 some years or something like that. So um, anyway... Uh, it's basically an insurance company run by Christians for Christians and you can't, you can't drink and you can't, I forget, you can't smoke, you're not allowed to smoke and you're not allowed to do a couple other things uh, on there too and you have to profess to be a Christian and so there, there is that too. So like I said, might not be for you, might be for you. I'll just post that down below if you want to check it out, go for it. Uh, B says, uh, Northside Indianapolis, uh, Joanne Fabrics has begun filling the empty shelves with copious amounts of, it's not quite as bad as Christmas decorations, but Halloween decor. Halloween? We haven't had the 4th of July yet, and we have Halloween decor? That's crazy. Joanne Fabrics is going through Chapter 11 bankruptcy, by the way, just to a background for you. Back in March, they filed for Chapter 11 bankruptcy. They had their stock delisted and they've closed a bunch of their stores. So they're definitely having issues at Joanne Fabrics. If you see them, uh, you might want to keep an eye out in case they have a going on business sale anytime soon. Uh, but uh, that just tells you how messed up their supply chain is. And we're seeing more and more retail uh, companies out there having major issues. People just don't have discretionary income anymore to go buy weird decorations. Ain't that true? Anyway, if you want to get some more information from Genesis Gold about what you can do with your retirement account, like I said, uh, if you want to check out Christian Health Sharing Ministry down in the comment down below, I probably just mispronounced it or said it wrong, but uh, it's what I use. Anyway, and if you want to check out another video from this channel, there's one right up here. Thanks so much for watching. Steve Poplar of the Poplar Report, out.